today's outfit of the day. This is a Zara dress that I got during Black Friday, and I absolutely love it. It's so comfy, and um, I'm wearing it with a leopard scarf. Um, I actually had to end up getting the dress a size too big because that's what they had available at the store during Black Friday, and I'm just wearing it with this the Zara, not the Zara, but the boohoo jacket that I share with you in my blazer haul, and I'm loving it. I thought I had recorded <laughs> me going into Target, but I guess not, um, but I went into Target to get some stuff for our donation bin and a white elephant gift, and of course I end up in the clearance section. I found two cute sweaters. One was $5.98, this one here, which is super cute, um, and then I got I saw this um, sweater dress, and this one I think is $8.98. So a really, really good deal on those two. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this red sweater. Today is our office um, white elephant exchange, and then we have an early dinner. So I just, I'm wearing this um, sweater, and this is the one that has the attached collar and then the little shirt um, attached to it. So I really like this, it's super comfortable, super warm. This is actually Ralph Lauren. I bought this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those stores, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just wearing jeans. Don't y'all love that you can wear jeans to work? It's the best thing ever. Anyway, so I'm wearing jeans, and I decided to just wear my, um, these are like my favorite black um, suede pointy, toy, pointy toe boots. Um, I was going to wear my red boots. So I'm like, that's just too much. So I just, I like this look. It's nice and simple um, and put together. So this is what I'm wearing today. And um, I may, I'll try to film a little bit of our activity, but we'll see. Anyway, so headed out to work. I'll probably wear this jacket with it today. This Boohoo uh, jacket is so warm, you guys. I'm telling you, I didn't realize it was going to be I am actually loving this little break from Atlanta being able to travel here um, you know and go back and forth because Atlanta has changed so much over the years it's just you know people who come to come to visit they're like oh my gosh I love it here ooh, 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 it's so popping Hoo. and yeah there are many things that I love about Atlanta but it's changed so much over the years and at my age you know once you get 40 plus you want to live in peace you know, spending two and three hours on the road commuting to a job is not something that you're interested in doing. <laughs> you want to be able to go to the mall and have a peaceful shopping experience. You want to be able to go to restaurant. You know, you want to be able to, to, to enjoy your life. And the quality of life has just changed so much in Atlanta that, you know, if my kids were not in school, you know, my husband and I would just move, you know, but at, at their ages, it's, it, you know, we don't want to disrupt things. So here I am commuting back and forth. And those are the, the, um, those are the sacrifices that you make. Um, <clears throat> but there are a lot of people who actually do that, y'all. Um, there are so many people these days who, definitely in Atlanta there are people who commute to the west coast um like one of uh one of my daughters one of her good friends her father spends a week in California a week in Georgia a week in California and I know why he does that because he makes way more money be having a job that's based on the west coast and the same with me you know the salaries are much much higher in these areas but you don't live there so you're getting that benefit mm -hmm. Is everybody here? No, where's Oscar and... Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They're actually to go to a place that serves them with bacon. And you got the risotto yeah. and you got this. Yes. At the one time. <laughs> Hello everybody, so I am back from my company um, dinner and I thought I would do a quick review of this little bag um, because I did carry it uh, to the restaurant. So this is the, uh, I shared this bag with you, but this is the Coach Tabby crossbody and this bag has the snakeskin accent, snakeskin trim. Um, and the rest of the bag is leather and obviously it um, has gold hardware, um, a long strap that is, it's not adjustable, but I am 5'6", curvy, so you can kind of see where it stops on me. But this particular bag, you guys, it is very small, as you can see. I would say that this is basically a walk. Um, it has a little slip pocket on the back, so if you needed to slide, you know, something very thin in there, maybe um, to cash, like if you're going to park somewhere, or you need to tip someone, like if you're doing ballet or whatever, you may want to put some cash in there. I don't know really what else you can do with this little slip pocket, but it's there, okay? Um, it also has, it's color block, so you have the chalk color here and then it has this microfiber lining and it has two compartments the reason why i say it's basically a walk because this first compartment has two slots here that you can use for your ids so you don't have to carry any type of card holder you can just stick what you need in here and then you have this part free um this <laughs> I had some stuff in there. Um, this pocket here is a little bit bigger and um, you know, if you need to stick your phone, whatever you need in there. So I am recording with my phone, but the times that I've carried this bag have been instances where I'm going to a restaurant like tonight, because like I said, this is a walk, so you can't fit a whole lot in it. If you're going to a restaurant, you're going to a movie theater, you're running into a store, you're at the mall, um, any place that you pretty much only need your, maybe some cash, your phone, uh, maybe lip gloss, um, and maybe a key holder. But you can only fit a couple of things, big items in this bag. The key items, should I say. So, uh, I have here, what I typically do is I put my phone in this, no, no, no. I put my phone in this area because it seems to hold it. The way I pack this bag, it just it's better when I put the phone in this this area here. Um, and then I always carry my key holder because I do have my ID, well my driver's license, and then I will put just you know a, a card that I'll be using in my. Uh, key clay right in there this fits in this area here this front pocket here and as you see that pretty much takes up all the room this back pocket when I put my phone in here there's really nothing else that I can put in there so what you will find with this little bag is that and the reason that you cannot add a whole lot that's going to create um, that's that's going to be too bulky is because as you can see it's hard to fasten this bag with my key clay in there okay and that's why I can only pretty much put my phone in there and then it snaps like that now which what I would what I could do is take my IDs out um, I'll just use this one for example, I could put this card in there, just say this is card, I can put that in there, put another card in there, take my key off, if I take my key off, then I could put my key in here, and then I have all this space. So then if I wanted to add my lip gloss, if I wanted to add my iPod, my ear pods, because we love these, right? If I wanted to put that in there, then it will fit, 
it will snap and fit perfectly. Like I said, I have to, the only thing you can put in this area here and for the bag to still close is pretty much your phone. And I have an iPhone, um, the regular size 10. So yeah, um, but that's pretty much it on this little bag. Um, like I said, if you need a, a walk style bag and um, in my opinion, I think the, the style of this bag, the look of this bag, um, I think it's well worth the price. This bag was two, I think it was two, I think this one is $2.95 because of the snake skin. I think the all leather is maybe $2.50 or $2.75, but I think for the price, it's definitely worth it compared to say Gucci or some of the high-end designers who sell basically, who also offer a bag this size, um, but you're gonna pay three or four times as much. So. so I would give this bag for what I needed for five out of five. I mean, it's leather, you've got a nice gold chain, you can actually detach it and just make it a wallet. So if you just wanted to just make it a wallet and you know, you got your little wallet, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. If you wanted to make it a wallet, you could do that. Um, I just think that for the price, this is such a good quality, um, just a beautiful bag for the price. Another thing that I use this bag for is when I travel. So it's also great for that because if you're carrying a big bag, you could just put this on and you got your AirPods, you know, you got your AirPods, you got your key clay and my phone and I'm good to go. So I highly recommend this bag. You may want to put it on your Christmas list, um, but yeah, love it. I definitely give it a thumbs up.